when you wear your stuff outside, it smells stank. It smells like outside, in the words of every black mother, or it smells like pennies. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. And if you are interested in that, stay tuned to this video. In this video, I wanted to go through a few things that I love to take to the dry cleaner and why. And hopefully that helps you ladies if you are on the fence when it comes to spending a little bit of extra money taking your stuff to the dry cleaner. If I decide to buy a bunch of white button-up shirts, I can't keep them super clean here in Atlanta because we have hard water. So eventually it's gonna start looking a little a dingy um, and that's not really what I wanna give off. But first let me start off by saying, before you start to take your things to the dry cleaners, take one or two items to a couple of places, try them out, see how they do. White shirts are really easy for them to clean because the spots and the stains are visible on them, especially if you've been wearing it all day, you may get a little dirty on the sleeve, maybe around the neck area, but take them to places that you wanna try out. I have taken clothes to places and they have not cleaned an item because they did not see a visible stain, but I knew that I wore the item outside. And for those of you who know, who know, when you wear your stuff outside, it smells stank. It smells like outside in the words of every black mother or it smells like pennies right so before you actually start taking them there try a couple of places and another tip I would say is try not to take so many things at once because I think this is where they get a little lazy first thing I love to take on anything that is white white shirts for me white button-up shirts white shirts that are that have detailing at the top um, anything like that so white tops i'm always going to take there i'm going to show you guys another and that's just those white tops let's get into my button-up white top so white button-up shirts classic white button-up shirts i take there if you have not taken your white shirts to a dry cleaners girl you're missing out they will keep your white shirts clean. That that I will say. I can say they will keep those clean. I don't care what kind of stain you have on it. They will have your shirts looking crisp. They're good at that. White hoodies, white t-shirts, if you will. If you have a t-shirt from somewhere like, like a Koss or even a Zara that's like really thick, take them to the dry cleaners, trust me. So white tops are, are the first thing that I always take to the dry cleaners, regardless of where I got the top from. If it's a designer, it's going there. If it's high street, it's going there. So make sure you are reading those labels. Most of the items that you do purchase do come with care instructions. If the shirt or the item does not have a tag on it, go to their website and you can see it on the website. The other thing I take to the dry cleaners are things that are delicate, meaning satin shirts, satin skirts, um, things that are just maybe like lace that I don't wanna put into the washing machine. Anything that I feel that I may potentially mess up and I just need them to kinda dry clean it for me, I'm gonna take there. So look for things that you deem as delicate that you would not put in your washing machine and take it to the dry cleaners. So for me, it will be my satin tops, like I said, any satin skirts, anything that's lace, anything that possibly is sheer, I would want them to just kind of steam it really, really good. I have a steamer, but I feel like the steamer that they use is on another level. <laughs> so for me, I would take satin tops and blouses and satin skirts to the dry cleaner. You can do this stuff yourself at home if you don't want to spend a ton of money. But for me, I like the easy way out. I'm gonna take them to the dry cleaners. The third thing that I'm always gonna take to the dry cleaners is anything that is knit. So, as you can see here, this is, I'm throwing everything on the floor, guys. And it's gonna be a mess to pick it up. <laughs> can we talk about getting rid of those papers? It's so annoying. Like, I try to be as safe as possible because of the wire hangers and just wrap it up so that, you know, the garbage people are not getting cut or anything. But anyway, I digress. So anything that is knitwear. So this is a tank top, a simple tank top from Aritzia, okay? For me, I'm taking it to the dry cleaners. 
Why? Because first of all, this tank top was like 80 bucks. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, again, I have hard water and I can't keep them clean. Regardless of whatever I put, if there's a filter, it just doesn't do what I need it to do. So I take it to the dry cleaners. Now, you have to just be careful that they don't shrink it. But these are things that I know that they are cleaning, okay? They're cleaning them. They have a certain smell to them. Whatever type of cleaning solution they use, I can actually smell it. Things that are knit. This is my other knit top. Anything that is knit, I am taking to the dry cleaners. Sweaters, I'm taking to the dry cleaners. Do I have any sweaters here? I do. I'll show you guys that. Um, any sweaters, any knitwear, whatever you guys want to call it. Knitwear, sweaters, whatever. Take those to the dry cleaners. This is considered a cardigan. However, when I look at my receipt, Buddy said it was an overcoat, okay? <laughs> Which just was like a little bit pricey to me. So think about that when you are looking for a, a dry cleaner. What are they deeming some of your items as? Are they deeming some of them as dresses and it's just like a long sweater? Um, Cause that may cost a little bit more. Are they deeming things that are a knit, like a cardigan as a coat? Okay. So pay attention to your receipts, but I'm just <laughs> dropping everything on the floor guys. So this is my cardigan sweater from Mango. I had this for a really, really, really long time. Really, really, really long time. They have been caring for my sweater for a long time. If you're taking something like a cardigan that's long, pay attention to your receipt. They may deem it as an outerwear item and it's gonna cost you a little bit more. So kind of play around with the numbers, see what works for you. If it's too much, try another dry cleaners. If it's not, stick with that one. And this does add up in the end. So I'll tell you guys how many items I took and what he charged me. When it comes to skirts, I'll take anything that is pleated, um, anything that has any type of ruching that I can't iron myself. Okay, so this is a skirt that I wore because the weather is so weird in Georgia right now. And I want to say anywhere. Now he do wrap my stuff up really, really good. <laughs> so, let me see. This skirt is something that some normal people <laughs> may just wash. But the reason why I'm not washing this is because of the detailing on the skirt. All right. The detailing on this skirt is not something that I am wanting to iron myself all these little ridges and stuff i'm not trying to iron this and it goes all the way down so for me anything that has pleats anything that has any extra ruching or any details that i deem to be hard to iron it's going to the dry cleaners okay so if you haven't done that before taken anything that has like pleats and stuff and you find yourself like really frustrated trying to iron these pieces child take them there you could also get a steamer, but it's gonna take you a little while. So this white shirt here, I tried to iron it once. It was a no-go for me. <laughs> like it was so bad that I was just like, I am not gonna iron this shirt. It was just too many nooks and crannies for me. So anything with pleats, anything with like any detailing that may potentially um be difficult for me it's going to the dry cleaners all right so the last thing that i've taken this week would be my pants trousers anything for my bottom that is kind of like a dress pants right now i do take my blazers there as well i just didn't have any this week so i'm just showing you guys what i took this week and i'm gonna break down the course so i had some knit pants that are like capri pants i have some dressy slacks from vince and then i have a pair of pants from mango all of these pieces i wore this week they're clean they put creases in it if i ask them to put a crease in it if i don't want a crease they don't put a crease so my bottoms my trousers i'm definitely going to take there because i can't really care for them especially for the ones that have like 
little short um, pleats at the top. I can't really get to those myself. And it could be laziness, maybe. <laughs> I would recommend you guys going and getting this dry cleaned so they can get into these crevices here, get these folds nice and neat for you again. If you're good at ironing stuff, more power to you, your girl can't do it, okay? So again, my trousers and my pants that are like a light material, I'm gonna take there. When it comes to denim, I have taken jeans to them a few times. Um, they have cleaned them, no issues, but I kind of feel like I can wash my jeans and let them hang dry and still be fine with them. They may be a little crunchy, <laughs> but once I iron them and possibly steam them a little bit to loosen them up, I'm fine. So those are some of the things that I'm gonna always take to the dry cleaner that help with my clothes staying in really, really good condition. But if you are a person who's looking to try to take something to the dry cleaners and you're like kind of on the fence about the price, possibly because it's expensive, <laughs> but let me break down how many items I took. So in total, I took 11 items, all right? So 11 items, they were ready within three days for me, okay? And he breaks it down by pants, if you wanna crease, if it's an overcoat, if it's no crease, which is cheaper. Um, so keep that in mind. If it's a long skirt, he has sweater, he has blouse, he has heavy blouse. Mmm, now that I'm thinking about it, the heavy blouse. Which one was the heavy blouse? Which one he's talking about heavy blouse? Now that I think, oh, he must be talking about this. You see what I'm saying, guys? Pay attention to your receipt. So, two pants crease was $9.70. One overcoat was $20. That's the cardigan. That's the one that kind of threw me off because I'm like, what the heck is that, right? What the hell? Um, pants with no crease is $4.85. So, I got one of those. He's saying $4.85. That was probably my ivory color these that was probably these right here um and then one long skirt which is the black one and then two sweaters child this one i'm trying to tell you he used <laughs> this is considered a sweater to him and the two sweaters, which is this one and the one from Theory, he charged me $9 for those, $9.70. And then four blouses, one heavy, four blouses, one long, one heavy, which, I don't I don't know what he, what, what I'm trying to tell you, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's just pay attention to it. Let me show you guys a little bit closer. I don't know if you guys can see. So this is how he actually had everything printed out for me. Some of the stuff makes sense and some does not. And the total price was 73, 15, yeah. So that's it for this video. I wanted to just show you guys some of the things that I love to take and that you should try taking to the dry cleaners as well. Especially if you find yourself buying things and you're buying it over and over. That's a telltale sign that you're not caring for the item like you should. I don't have a ton of clothes. Um, I do have a huge space, but I don't have a ton of clothes. And that's because I'm not really replacing things over and over. It's just something that I learned really early on, especially as a tall girl, knowing that they don't really cater to us. And I have to buy things that are great quality. So when my money is being spent on something, I'm gonna take care of it. That's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that you should be taking to the dry cleaners if you aren't already at the moment. I'll tell you some of the things that you don't have to take there are you don't have to take your denim. You don't have to take a t-shirt unless it's like a graphic tee in my opinion. Something that has a little bit of detailing on the front you wanna take. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video helped you. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. Guys, I'm gonna link some of my blog posts for you to take a look at. And of course my style guides for those of you girls who's trying to build the wardrobe and need step-by-step -step guidance. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com, and I'm on tickety-tickety-talk 
Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.